Jill asked, uh, how do I alter the font size in a document written in the iPad app pages? It is large and would take up many pages to print it. Okay, you might be wanting to make the words you're writing easy to see and you choose to make the font big and then you realize afterwards that, oh, when I print this, it's just too big. So let's take a look at what you do here. So whenever you have writing on the screen, I'm just going to double tap with my finger on this first word. It doesn't really matter which word I tap on, but I'll just double tap on the word how. Now how is highlighted in orange. I'm going to come up to the paintbrush symbol up the top here. I'm going to touch on that. My keyboard's in the way here, so I'm just going to put my finger on that dash at the bottom of the keyboard and then just drag it over to the side. And so what people can do here is that this font size at 12, they may have made it 22. And at this point, whatever I type after the word how is going to be at this 22 point size. And you probably don't want to have that document, especially if you're going to print it that being that big. So if you need to correct that text, and let's see if I can select all of this text here to make it all 22 so you can see it at once. I'll hit select all, touch on the paintbrush, and there we go. You can see that all of it now, let's make it 24. Now, what I want you to take a note of here is it's not just this size here that we want to focus on. It's this section here, this paragraph style. Because when we come back to this, if I now double tap on this word how, touch on this paintbrush and make it back down to 12, the rest of the words did not adjust in size at the same time. But here, see how the body now has an asterisk next to it and it has the word update. It's saying that I have just selected this text, which was a paragraph style called body. And when the word update appears, it means that I've changed it to something that's different to what it's programmed to. And at the moment, it was programmed at 24. We've now made it 12. So when I hit the word update here, it updated all of that text. So you might have a letter that could be four pages long and you don't want to be going and selecting all of the text. Um, if you do see that the text you have selected does have a body that's been changed, it's got an asterisk and it has this word update, you can hit update and it will change all of the text at once. And so that's a really good trick to know in reducing that text size. Now, obviously, if, if you're interested in doing a Christmas letter or something like that and want to see many of the other features that are built in, let me know in the comments section and I'll show you tricks like this where you can be changing lots of the text at once instead of having to select little bits at a time. It certainly does make it a lot easier when using the Pages app.